Hello everyone and welcome to Granite Falls. Look how beautiful this is. There's trees, trees, as far as you can see. Pine trees everywhere. Oh, Pine's gonna be so excited. And look over there. Oh my gosh, this is, this is just beautiful. Oh my goodness. So we are here, it is finally camping time and we, oh my gosh, look at that giant bunny. Oh, there's so much to see. <gasps> Look at the size of these trees. I am in love with these trees. Oh my gosh. So we have brought Pine, Tate, Lily, Holly, and Ash, basically the kids and their parents on a special vacation. And it was a little bit more expensive than I thought. And somehow we lost a bunch of our money. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. He's so cute. Look at him. Oh my goodness, they're on vacation. So we are actually at the campground, the camp campground, where basically it looks like they got out of a bus. And um, I think this is, this is where we get to sleep right here. Like this is our campground, this spot right here. We have no tents that, that needs to be uh, remedied. We literally have no tents. Um, is there somewhere we can buy tents? <laughs> Look at the little sign. There's a little camping sign and everything. <gasps> Look. Look. That's a woodpecker. That is a woodpecker. I spy with my little eye a woodpecker, you guys. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got I got pretty lucky that this is the very first game pack that is being released for Sims 4 because this is totally up my alley. Look at him. Look at this little guy. A wee little woodpecker. Are you kidding me? Oh, I love you. Hello, woodpecker. How are you doing? Hmm? How are you doing, sir? You're adorable. Absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And there's ferns everywhere. I love ferns. I freaking love ferns. But I've heard that you can go to the ranger station. That looks like the bathroom's over here. Um, is there a ranger station? Let's see, that's one of the places you can snooze. This is another snooze place. We couldn't afford those places to snooze. Uh, that's another snooze place. Uh, is there just like a plain ranger station? Because we don't have any tents. And I really need some tents. Do they automatically put tents in Dad's inventory, perhaps? No! Okay, this might get a little interesting. Oh, is this the ranger station? Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's read camping information and have Tate buy some supplies. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so cute. I want this like in our Zudesia place. <gasps> Do you hear the birds? I hear the birds. Tate. Tate, you want to have fun? We are going to have so much fun, Tate. Oh my gosh. Okay, and it's time. We need to switch his aspiration to outdoor enthusiast. There we go. He's going to harvest 10 unidentified plants and catch five fish in Granite Falls. Look at the joy on this man's face. I cannot wait for this. All right, let me know. Huh. <gasps> look at the cute little camp sign. Oh, look, it tells you not to litter or pour things in the water. It has some little, some little leaf identification things. Whether you're feeling adventurous or looking for some relaxation, Granite Falls has it all. Explore the deep forest or lodge around the campground. It's your choice. The only requirement is that you have a good time. Oh, we totally are. We're here for four days and we might extend that vacation depending on how many supplies we need. Okay, let's see. So we need, this is a double sleeper, double bed. Another double bed, amateur hours, child's violin to keep the kids uh, interested, I guess. Cabin in a bag, um, cabin in a bag. This tent will easily accommodate you, your friends, and possibly a grizzly bear. So I guess we should buy one of those. I wonder how many people it'll fit. The easy camper, portable temper, t uh, tent even, temper, what the heck? Yeah, we won't be able to afford the cabin in a bag and everything else we need. So it's the easy camper indeed. Uh, not the cots, I don't think. We already have Herbalism 101, uh, the Herbalism Volume 1. Let's get brewing. Lightbringer, oh my gosh, onions. Do we even have onions? Oh, we're going to buy an onion because I don't think we have onion. Roast them and toast them campfire. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to get that. <gasps> Some sage. Awesome. Traveling guitar. Look at all this stuff. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, the man behind the falls. To behold the splendor of the Sequoia Falls is to gaze upon the greatest that beauty and nature has to offer, or is it? Learn about the fascinating true story of a sim who succeeded against all odds through the eyes of Mike Jeffress. The story of a sim who refused to take no for an answer, a sim who just wouldn't quit, a sim that created and now operates the world's greatest man-made waterfall. Oh, we're gonna get that. The Mantis Wars. World-renowned insect and fiction connoisseur Scene Walsh takes us towards the adventures of a brave, uh, toward the adventures of a brave sim and her crew in a remote region of the globe where the land long forgotten, where giant insects reign supreme. With the giant mantis holding the title of King of the Jungle, will the sim and her crew be able to join the native ants, beetles, and butterflies to fight off the mantis threat and avoid global destruction? Oh, that sounds awesome. Night... <laughs> the Night the Moon Forgot to Shine by P.J. Ranches. P.J. Ranches comes forth with the gripping first installment of the Ranches family series. A young sim girl ventured into the wilderness alone on a moon, on a night the moon forgot to shine. No one knows why she left. No one knows why she never returned. What they do know is that on some nights, the moon again forgets to shine, and when it does, terrible things occur. The Ranches family has come to Granite Falls, looking for a break from the pains of the modern world, but the pain has only just begun. <gasps> Those are just too dramatically awesome. We're definitely going to get that. It looks like there is like a little gaming table everybody could enjoy together, but we need to get some of the important things. So by important things, I mean like something, a traditional campfire so that everybody can roast stuff. Uh, definitely need a cooler. So we'll get a mega cooler. Definitely need at least a couple light bringers. Uh, light bringer Vista. Still portable. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, fishing, we already have a fishing thing. And I think we just need, like, two tents, maybe? Can we afford all that? No! Okay, um... What can we cut out? I want that onion, though. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I feel like the onion would be perfect. Um... And the books are not that expensive. We just have no money because we had a fridge debacle. Uh, let's hope that one tent is enough, guys. We're going to hope that one tent is enough. So, hmm. Let's see. We, we do only have one tent, though. Uh-oh. So, tent, um, one lamp, um, no onion. <laughs> oh, no. Roast them, toast them. I guess we don't need the campfire, actually. We might have enough for a second. No, we don't. Never mind. Okay, one tent. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's send Tate back to where the lodging is. Hello, friends. I'm Deja, your friendly forest ranger. I'm chock full of camping knowledge, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Yay! Oh my gosh, and here's where the family is. <gasps> Look at everybody! Oh, look! Little Holly is carrying around her pet clay. That's adorable. Look at her. Do you feel inspired, little one? What are we going to name that pet clay, huh? What are we going to name it? There's a little forest ranger behind you. Alright, let's see. So, Tate is headed back over here. There's the forest ranger. Can we talk with her? Uh, friendly introduction. Or no, cheerful introduction, because he's in a good mood. I feel like he could learn a lot from this woman. I would love to wear her outfit. Let's see. Brag about handiness. Uh, bright and day. Boast about family. Share fishing tips. And then let's see what the kids are up to. Pine's having a good time with his mom. Where the heck is Ash? Uncomfortable. Bugged in the restroom. So he ran over to the restroom. Bugs are flying around everywhere in the restroom. Ew. Poor Pine. Or poor Ash. I don't think he's as much of an outdoors enthusiast as his brother and father. I wonder if there's other kids here. Hey, there's another camper. So here's another camper. Oh, it's Blakely. It's like the local campers. <gasps> Can you catch these? Ash, Ash, come here. I know you don't like bugs, but come over here and try catching these butterflies. Oh, there goes somebody else being chased by the bugs in the restroom. Whoa. Can you get him, Ash? Whoa! You didn't smush him, did you? Look at you! He found three Jezebel butterflies! What can we do with those little guys? <gasps> They're in terrariums! They're in terrariums! I am so excited about that! Ash, go have some fun! Come on, here. You're kind of into fire and flame and stuff. Why don't you, um... Oh, he can roast his own veggie dogs. What is he doing? 
Oh, he's gonna roast marshmallows all on his own. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Alright, be careful, Ash. Look at that, he's a cozy campfire. <laughs> I feel like Ash would have a great time just playing with fire for some reason. He just strikes me as that kind of child. Very independent, very smart, a lot smarter in terms of uh, like book smarts than I thought he would be. Aww. And meanwhile, everyone's hanging out over here. Tate's getting to know the awesome park ranger. Let's set up camp! We need to set up camp. Alright, Tate. Let's see. Stuff's not in your inventory, it seems, until... Here it is. There we go. Alright, we're going to set up our little tent. Uh, oh, you can read a wilderness digest, plan, put an inventory, plan, relax. Okay, good. Then we're going to put a mega cooler out. We do have a grill and we do have a fireplace. We're going to put the cooler over here. There we go. And then let's see. Quick mill and drink are both inside. So that makes me feel better. We can sell a bunch of Tate's random plants to try and make a little money <laughs> so we can buy stuff. Oh dear, like I did not anticipate not having that much money. Um, those books are probably too much for the kids, but we can at least put like the Lightbringer portable out by the tent. And then we can probably send Tate camping later. And actually I want to give that, I want to give the Mantis Wars to Iris to read because that actually sounds kind of awesome. I really want Holly to read it actually, but she's too young. All right, Tate, you want to have a great time. Why don't you come over and play with your friends? Join, or your friends, your children. Come join the game. He's too busy talking to the, the camp ranger. All right, Pine, where are you going? Enthuse about the outdoors. Why don't you come over to your sister? And enthuse about the outdoors. Just have a good time. Oh, she gave him a hug. That's adorable. He's like, we're outside. Do you hear all the birds? What does he want to do? Talk about his dreams with someone. There you go, Pine. And Holly, what do you want to do, honey? Your brother, your other brother, your twin, is busy burning marshmallows, which I'm sure he's pretty happy about. She's a little worried about the insects, too. Alright, then Iris has whipped out some franks and beans of excellent quality. Oh, geez, and Pine is level 8 social? Holy days. Iris, go ahead and eat your franks and beans. There we go. She's figuring it out. How's Ash doing? He is so uncomfortable about those bugs. Look at that face. That is the face of a boy who doesn't know if he's meant for the great outdoors. He's like, I don't know about this. Really not sure. <gasps> Little Ash, you're finding all the cool stuff, though. What is this? It's an onion plant. And what's this? It's a potato plant! I'm gonna have to have your dad harvest this, you understand, Kidlet. I'm gonna have to have him do it. Let's see. Explore woods, take me to bathroom, read camping information. Oh, there's somebody walking through the woods who needs to go to the bathroom. So the townies and everybody will show up over here too. Is there anything more for the kids to do? Oh my gosh. Look at this. <gasps> Look at the little ducks! Oh, holy days! There's little tiny ducks. Hang on here. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at them! Look at them! There's wild fowl! And they're moving around pretty nicely. Are you gonna clip into the rock just as I say that? You sure are. Well then. But there's a little place for him to come and fish. I don't know if he likes fishing yet. Oh, look at this stream! Oh my gosh! It's so beautiful. Tate, you have so much you need to explore, Tate. I don't see any other kids, though. Whoa, cool. They're chucking in random things. Ash, you're just in such a bad mood from those nasty bugs that showed up. All right. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of... What's over here? What's this? Where are we going? Oh, what's this? Unidentified flowers. Those are for Tate to collect, that's for sure. Where's this person going, I wonder? Alright, what do you want to do? Do you want to torment your little sister? He wants to be funny with his sister Holly, so let's send him back over to, to their little home base. Oh geez, and these guys are doing something over here. So let ha let's have him do, do, do funny. 
do an impression to his sister Holly. <laughs> He's having such a bad time. And Holly's just standing there playing with her clay. I need to download the mod that like makes it so you get inspired when you get the clay. Oh, she can play in her tent? <gasps> she can play in her tent! Oh, and Iris is reading that book we got her! Oh, that's so cool! Alright, Tate, are you ready for this? Let's see, he wants to be friendly with his wife. Woohoo intent. Heartfelt compliment. Banter with old friend. Uh, joke about good times. Just have a good time with your wife. Blow a kiss. It's been a long time since they've been able just to have have time together. Let's see, friendly. Compliment outfit. So sweet. They're such little, little perfect mates. Aw, blowing her a kiss. Look at the little family. All right, Pine, what do you want to do? You like being outdoors. So let's see. What should we have him do? I feel like Pine, let's have him. Can we have him? We can only have him view the plants. So the kids are a little young for some of these activities. So let's have him go and explore the woods. Let's see if he can do that. And then his dad needs to get out there. Let's see. What does he want to do? You're chatting with somebody, but... Let's have Tate get out here and start. <gasps> more insects! There's more little bugs! <gasps> There's another plant! It's a wild plant! Okay, we need to collect microscope sample or harvest. Let's have him harvest it, actually, because he needs to harvest 10 unidentified plants. And then let's send Pine out here to collect the insects later, because that's totally something he'd do. They're gone! Ah, oh, so I heard insects come out at different times of day, actually. Listen to the bird song. Oh, and there's little light motes. Oh, I wish it was spring where I live. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I think we're going to go explore the woods with pine. Oh, so that's what that does. And we can go to the national park. What? What? Okay. Now I know what that does. We're going to have to send everybody together as a family. So we're going to have him do that later as a family. For now, let's look for more bugs. Let's find more bugs and we'll find Tate more plants. Like, I'm pretty sure Tate doesn't know about this plant. Tate, where are you? Oh, you already harvested that plant? Good job, Tate. Good job. Alright, get going. How are the other kids doing? Doing good. Look at that fire, you guys. Wow, that's a nice fire. Where's Iris going? To use the facilities, I see. Oh, this is really just giving him a great opportunity to spend some time together as a little family. All right, Tate, you've harvested that plant. Let's see if I can find any more. Uh, he's He kind of wants to play. <gasps> There's the woodpecker again! Oh, I wish we could send the Sims like over to view it or something. That would be so cool. <gasps> Another plant! Tate! Tate, come down here! It's a strawberry bush! Wild strawberry bush! Oh my gosh. Oh, that's just, a, that's just a grass, but we can look for some frogs. Actually, can you have your son look for frogs? <gasps> he can! We're going we're gonna to let Pine. I'm like tripping over my words. I'm so excited. We are going to let Pine look for some of those. Look at those little ducks. I don't know who's having a better time, me or the Sims. That's very debatable. All right, we're going to let Pine come over here. It's getting kind of late in the afternoon, but not terribly late. Maybe the first day, yeah, the first day I think we will just have them kind of settle in. Oh, Tate, you've got so many things. Is he happy? Family time. Oh, he's happy because he's having family time with his kids. That is so precious, even though everyone's kind of running off. <gasps> Look at these sunflowers. We could plant sunflowers. We're still going to plant sunflowers. We're going to work on the garden when we get home. All right. Oh, Tate's reading the man behind the foals. That would be something an outdoor enthusiast sim. Look at these. I wish we could have these. That fencing. Beautiful. I wish there were more kids. And I wish that fishing was like a social thing. <gasps> Pine! Holy days, he found an eggplant frog on his first frog hunt. That is so good. Let's see, any other? I'm looking for the unidentified plants. I'm pretty sure I saw more of them over here. I'm hunting. Oh, there they are. Lots of Sims walking by who seem to need to go to the restroom. So let's grab Tate. He's going to come over here and harvest this plant. Mm-hmm. And then I think we can actually brew things on the grill. 
if I remember correctly. Ah, there's another one. All right. We're harvesting all these little things. There's a bear! There's a bear! There's a bear NPC. Oh my goodness. Tate, there's, there's kind of a bear right here. I'm looking at right at him. Look at him. So is this like the NPC? Tate, introduce thyself to the bear. Is this like the mascot who's running around? Stacy! Oh my gosh! Kids! Kids! Come meet Stacy! Come on, kidlets! I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this. That's so cute! You can hear how she's kind of like inside the mascot thing. Let's have him goof around with her. That is so funny! What a cool little mascot! Get over here, kids! I want you to see the mascot! Oh, and there's another park ranger. Wow. Iris, do you want to introduce yourself to park ranger? Iris is busy reading that book. Oh my gosh, she's like all curled up. She's like, oh my goodness, yes. Fascinating. She actually looks like she's relaxing for once. And meanwhile, Pine is finding the sunflower frogs. Now he's off to go meet the bear. So let's have all the kids meet the bear mascot. Because that's kind of amazing. Here we go. Come on, kids. Squad Come meet Stacy the bear mascot. Come on over. Join the conversation. We're going to tell some jokes. We're going to share fishing tips. And we're going to tell some knock-knock jokes. Oh! No Sim likes being around deadly animals, but this bear seems more annoying than threatening. Oh, the kids don't like the bear! Oh, you guys, it's just a bear, a little bear mascot. Okay, I guess the family feel it feels a little bit nervous. Tate's going to show them there's nothing to be nervous about. Look at Holly. She's like, Dad, Dad, I don't trust this woman. I don't trust this situation, Dad. Holly, you are hilarious. I wonder if the park ranger is going to react. Like, um, sir, please step away from the bear. This is kind of a concerning situation, sir. Nope, he's fine with it, so they must be fine with it. Let's just let's just chat with the bear. But all right, so we're here. We are in Granite Falls, and tomorrow we are going to wake the kids up bright and early, which I'm sure they won't mind, and we are going to haul them off so that they can explore the wild park. Tate just looks like he's in his ideal world. This is fantastic. And Ash, Ash, I swear, is a kid with a plan. I mean, look at him. He's like, I don't have time for any of this silliness. I've got work to do. Ah. Oh. And Holly, look at her suspicious little face. Holly does not trust this bear. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest face ever. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, clearly the twins' personalities are starting to emerge a little bit more, so I'm pretty happy about that. And we will have to see what else they're going to do. Um, Ash has no regard. He's like, mm -mm, I do what I want. <laughs> and we'll have to see what they get up to tomorrow as they continue their camping adventure. So I will see you guys then, and I cannot wait. We're going to go explore the woods. This is going to be so exciting. I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.